Welcome to my humble abode. <clears throat> I am Yogi the Tail Spinner, and this is Tales Over Coffee, where we start the day with a narrative game and a cup of coffee together in the hope of welcoming a blessed day. Right now, we return to Telltales, Episode 1 Realm of Shadows of Batman, the Telltale series. <laughs> It certainly loads quicker than Walking Dead series. A warrant? What the hell's going on? Wait, does this have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? That press conference turned into a bloodbath. Yeah, someone's coming after me. Let's avoid making another scene, shall we? The press is already up my ass as it is. Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah, then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files... Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this, I swear. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. God damn it. He has no right to issue search warrants without my okay. <sighs> okay, I, I believe you, Harvey. Mayor Hill's trying to screw us both over with this move. And then he's made two enemies. I just don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? That just doesn't make sense. I mean, what could he possibly hope to accomplish other than a few cheap headlines? Do you think Falcone could be behind it? He didn't seem too thrilled after the fundraiser. Ah, oh, God, what a mess. Bruce, I wish I could just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. Mm -hmm. If I get in the way of this investigation, Hill would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. And that wouldn't be good for either of us. Then I'll go it alone. I've got plenty of resources to fight this. We're in a bind here, Bruce. I'll do whatever I can to help. There you are. Hey, you. Sorry. Holy. I got a habit of being late. Uh, no, no, explanation. Just, glad you made it. Why does your apparent girlfriend have a black eye? And cuts? You didn't tell me you were bringing a friend is to dinner. Is that two black eyes? This is Selena. I hope I'm not Oh! That's why. Just election nonsense. I'm Bruce Wayne. So you are. Y'all know Where's who Selena Kyle is. This? Kyle. It's a strong grip you've got there. Also, um, Harvey, if we're going by some of the origin stories, I don't know which one we're going with. You don't know you're dating a prostitute. Just say it. Don't worry. I'm not gonna fall. Oh, he knows. Wait, sorry. Selena's new to town. I've been showing her around yeah. Gotham, introducing her to people. You're an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well. If I lose the election, I guess I can drive one of those double-decker tour buses around town. How'd you get that shiner? Bruce? That's okay. Money doesn't buy manners, right? <laughs> I was mugged. I'm just angry I let that That's... masked freak get away with all my stuff. I still one can't way, believe I let you walk home alone. Did you at least get a look at the guy? Good enough to make an ID. Well, I'll get Gordon down to GCPD to work on a lineup. That's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. I hope not. These were important materials. Oh, sensitive? Very. Mm. I don't know how I'm going to explain this to my client. When things like this happen in my line of work, people tend to overreact. We should just be thankful you got away with a black eye. What did you do as a fact question? So, what do you do for a living? It's complicated. High risk, high reward. Ah, <laughs> stock market, huh? <laughs> Something like that. At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. We've got it under control. Do you? I'll handle it. Someone at my office has to know what's going on. Yeah, I have a feeling you do. Uh, excuse me a moment. Are you hey, decided- it's Harvey. We're listening on him. Get a, a, a bat bug on him, Batman. <laughs> wow. 
when a bat and cat stared each other down, both knowing... Nice to meet the real you. Mm -hmm. Likewise. This explains a lot, actually. How you can afford the fancy armor, the toys. Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention, everyone in this cafe. What do you want with Harvey? Don't worry about your friend. My interest in him is personal. Hmm. Don't worry. I'm not going to expose you. Yet. I'm curious about something, though. I do what I do for money, but you're... Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? I have to. But you... I think you know enough already. The rest is my secret. And here I was thinking we were starting to get somewhere. How disappointing. You have something that belongs to me. I want it back. This is awkward for me. I'm used to robbing people, not the one being robbed. As I recall, you took something from me too. Hope you're getting some use out of that grappling gun. I'm more interested in how I can use you. These people I'm working for, they don't screw around. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's going to cost a lot more than money. Well, looks like you've made your bed. No, we've made this bed. And I'm not going to lie in it alone. Oh. You owe me. If they don't get what... I'm assuming everyone watching knows some of the uh, intimacies of the uh, Batman uh, Catwoman stories. They want, there will be consequences. I don't like consequences. In fact, I spend most of my time avoiding them. Oh, you don't need my help. You seem pretty capable of handling this yourself. Oh, I intend to. Just give me back the drive and I'll be on my merry little way. Yeah, I'd rather not. Listen, I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address, now. No. Give me the drive. Selena, please give me the address. Oh, he says please when he wants to. <laughs> okay, Bruce. Seeing as I'm screwed either way. My contact. He'll be expecting a cat, not a bat. When are you supposed to meet him? Fifteen minutes ago. Better hurry. That sounds like a rushed appointment. Everything okay here? You tell me. I have my people working on it. We're gonna straighten everything out. I feel better already. Sorry, but I've gotta run. So soon? Aren't you gonna stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit. Let me just check that ping. Alfred, I'm at the warehouse. No sign of Catwoman's contact. It's quiet. The sound of an ambush. Stay on guard. Stay hey, true. <clears throat> well, that was quiet, wasn't it? Oh, good God. Is this the Joker? This wasn't a handoff. It was a massacre. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Oh, good lord. Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Gordon, Eastside Docks, Warehouse 133. It looks like SWAT team as well. All the body armor. Analyzing. 
It's a volatile chemical. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile stuff. Be very, very careful with that. Who knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. Nothing left to bury. No. Exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it. And the chemicals themselves were inert, not explosive. Well, it appears to have made a pretty big boom. I'll see what I can piece back together. Interesting. Oh, mercenary, not SWAT. I've seen these outfits before. Same mercs that broke into City Hall. Residual. Hmm. Canisters were stored here. Canisters of what? No way to scan the air, Batman. It's a cop. The force grows thinner every day. Something was here when the explosion occurred. <laughs> Someone drove off after the explosion. I tied together like that, okay. I guess there's nothing else I can tie together there. No. That bad? Face slashed. Lord of Throat torn open. So, you like to the natural causes then. Skyline Club. Come on. Maybe we're not. Burns up? This man's been badly burned. But the damage seems to originate from inside his skull. What did this? Sensors say it's an incendiary route. Phosphorus residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister. Causing the aforementioned boom. Blood. Broken nails. Bits of human flesh. Someone like to get up close and personal.
Never seen a bullet do that. This is marks of Joker. Things that sort of make him say, although it could be scarecrow. Watching him fear, doing. White Rose. Falcone's calling card. Oh. He's been busy as of late. Send the drones hunting. I want to know his every move. Good thinking, sir. Is there anything else? Any more links I can make you? Let's have a look at the door. The canister exploded, sending shrapnel right through the container door. For once I'm glad you arrived after the heist. Your armor wouldn't have protected you against that. like a bullet started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. Doesn't appear normal. The point of entry's melted. killed the cop is the same type that blew up the canister. Well, I'm sure they didn't find that at a local gun store. It appears military. Have you put it together? Yes. Falcone leaving his rose here. 
This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. One of his snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men got them down. Then things turned grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent. A cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands. And was put down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. Looks like Falcone's men got what they wanted and escaped. Have you located the shooter? No, but based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop, the shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there, and would have contaminated himself with a phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. Targets could have been shot from here, but no phosphorus trace. Let's see if we can find it. for a spike. Mm. Clear vantage point. We have a winner. Hmm. Killing time. Still burning. Maybe don't on that. This is the like right spot. Burning. So where did he go? stops here. Then he should be nearby. Found him. Time to go to work. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> Don't make me add your corpse to this graveyard. Balcone, why did he do this? I, I ain't telling you nothing. You, you can't make me talk. I ain't telling you, Jack. You trying to scare a confession out of me? I won't break. Your bones will. In the out of time. It's true what they said about you. You're a freaking animal. Not sad animals. Time to live up to my reputation. You know you can bleed to death without ever spilling a drop. Mm. All on the inside. Tell me the plan, or I start swinging. <laughs> Tell me! That cab woman was supposed to hand over a drive, had the container number we needed, but she flaked. So we had to find it ourselves. Container by container! Someone must have heard us, called the cops. We were told no witnesses! Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. Falcone wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. That's probably true. I 
I start here and keep breaking until you answer. The chemicals! There's some kind of explosive! A weapon! I don't know! Balcone said he'd use them soon! Used? Where? That's all I know! I swear! I swear! I told... You'll never hold a gun steady again. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. These are cops. Get an ambulance in here! You're gonna need to call the coroner instead. It's Montoya. Send a cleanup unit to the docks. Warehouse 133. Probably a mistake. I probably should have disappeared. Now put up your hands! Don't move! Batman! What did you do to him? Don't move! I did what you couldn't. You're damn right! I'd never do something like this! I got what I needed. You have the right to remain silent. Gordon? I said silent! If you say another word, I will shoot you. I don't care if half the city thinks you're a hero. Right now, you're a suspect. Gordon, tell her to stand down. Don't you dare! You're making a mistake, Detective. You want to hear what I have to say. Falcone stole a shipment of chemicals. Appears to be a weaponized nerve agent. Causes people to go berserk, turn violent. We need to act before he releases it. I got a task force on it. You already have one. You're taking this too far, Bruce. Oh, not bad enough yet. You assume the persona of a bat, but you're not an animal. You nearly killed a man tonight. Question on nearly, question on man. Way, and neither did I. He's still alive, isn't he? And in the hospital. <sighs> Next time it might be the morgue. Next time Especially it might be now, lots during this more. preposterous attack on your family, you must show the world the true nature of a Wayne. Giving everything to the city and then being murdered for it? My thoughts exactly. Every time you leave this cave. You're a good man, Bruce. Good. Just like your parents. Don't lose that. I don't mean to be a doddering old fool on the subject, but as a friend, the burden of advice falls on me. Trust me, I won't lose my way. It's quite understandable to stray from the path now and again. So long as you can find your way back. You bury the person, Bruce, but you never bury the memory. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I wish I could. That night, that alleyway, it made me who I am. I can't get it out of my head. That is your gift and your curse. Being Batman can allow you to turn back the tide of treachery that's reached this city's shores or drown you in its sorrow. When you doubt your fate, remember why you started all this. Remember that boy in the alley. I won't forget. Neither will I. Data. Well, back into the fray again. I don't think this is what I need. No, this is. Well, looks like that egg finally cracked. And inside, Mayor Hill was hiding... more than I could have imagined. This is a complete manifest of Carmine Falcone's criminal organization. What in the world was Hill doing with all this? Illegal arms dealing, drug running, mob hits, money laundering? This is an insurance policy. Hill could expose Falcone if he didn't play along. That would explain why he's never made a move against him. Sure as hell better than any bodyguard. Any true. This is it, Alfred. With this proof, we can finally knock out Falcone's organization. Where would we possibly begin to dismantle it? 
This is a police matter. There's only one cop we can trust to handle this evidence correctly. Lieutenant Gordon. He could mobilize the entire police force against Falcone. What about that reporter from the Gazette? Vicky. Vicky. Yes, uh, oh, Miss Vale. She could release this evidence through proper channels. I suppose it comes down to who you want to help most. Or who you think could do the most good. Vicky can go beneath the uh, radar. Gordon can't, not so much. The police force is corrupt. I want to work with Gordon, but I think I have to work with Vicky. Vicky showed faith in me. She cares about the truth. She'll get the story out the way it needs to be told. A wise decision, sir. The trouble you is what her head is on two fronts tonight. Vicky through the media, and Batman by any means necessary. Whatever Falcone is planning, it ends tonight. He's a spider, Bruce. Eyes everywhere. A dense web of goons poised to trap you. No one has ever managed to bring him down. I haven't tried yet. And we shall pick up there next time. Can Vicky get the story out? I want her to work with both Gordon and Vicky. The police force right now is very corrupt. I don't think Gordon can get it done. Vicky? The problem's going to be getting past her editor. Alright. Join me next time. In the meantime, enjoy your coffee. And I hope you have a blessed day.